Good afternoon and welcome to NYFP. In mid-afternoon trade, the major U.S. stock averages are trading at session lows, all down by over 2.5%. Joining me this afternoon is Bobby Heller of OnPoint Executions. Hi, Bobby. Thanks for joining me today. Hi, Rami. Sure, no problem. Well, Greece is back in the spotlight today and the Eurozone jitters are back. But given that we're just starting the month of November, how do you feel about the rest of the month? Oh, the rest of the month. I, I think... Greece will still be in the spotlight the whole month. Uh, we spoke last week about, you know, how we had such a surefire deal over there in Europe with Angela Merkel leading the way. But I guess uh, as they get more towards de into the details, people have, have come up with questions. And now I guess this big uh, wrench that uh, Poppendro has thrown in is really scaring people. Uh, you know, things in the United States aren't on that great, great a footing to begin with. And with these questions looming over us, it makes it really hard to... Uh, to really think anything bullish about our markets. Well, also, uh, we do have the ECB uh, meeting taking place and the rate decision, and we do have Draghi stepping in as the ECB president. And central banks have been in the spotlight this week, especially with the BOJ intervention. What do you make of all the latest action, and do you expect to see any changes out from the central bank? Well, we also have the uh, G20 going on, so, I mean, it, it's everything there. I think. Um, the problem with the European Central Bank is that it's just, I, I don't know, it doesn't seem as forceful as our Fed. It, you know, uh, it seems a little bit more in name only, and it, it's really hard for them to get a handle on everybody in Europe and set policy for everybody. I mean, we keep saying that, uh, you know, socially it's not the United States of Europe, and it's hard for everybody to get on, on one train there and, and go with it. And we just see any time we think we have consensus, it falls apart. So, uh, you know, I don't really expect to see any real good solid stuff coming from there, but, you know, it, does, it doesn't take a lot to start getting real help and get it rolling. Hopefully they can come up with something. Okay, Bobby. Well, while we're on the topic of central banks, tomorrow afternoon the Fed's two-day meeting comes to an end and we have Bernanke speaking in the afternoon. Do you think we'll get any change out from the central bank? I don't think we're going to see anything really new from the Fed, and I've been saying that for quite some time. Uh, you know, they talked about that Operation Twist a, f a few weeks ago, and, you know, it'll be interesting to, say, uh, say, to see what his comments are as to how he perceives that's going or if they'll continue or try something else. Uh, a lot of people seem to think they're running out of tricks, but, you know, I think uh, <laughs> hopefully they come up with a little something. I mean... You look at uh, manufacturing numbers that came out today in the U.S., uh, you know, much, much worse than we expected, and they're continuing to go that way globally. So it, it, it's kind of hard to think that, you know, like, you know, one little uh, twist of something is really gonna, going to change things fast. Okay, Bobby, last but not least, before we wrap it up for uh, today's interview, we've talked about uh, central banks, um, but we do have uh, the non-farm payrolls coming out at the end of this week. Do you think a lot of the expectations are priced in? I, I think most of what we're seeing today and in the past uh, week or so had to do with uh, the perception that things were going well in Greece. So if we have bad numbers, I don't think they're priced in yet. Um, uh, you know, I can only see that if the numbers come out bad, that you know, I think it'll really hit the markets hard. So I'm hoping for at least good flat numbers or, or to some good numbers, because there's too much pressure from overseas. You know, anything over any bad news here gets exacerbated by that. Okay, Bobby. <laughs> Bobby, thank you so much for weighing in on all these topics, and have a great afternoon.